This hot yellow baby over here currently holds the record for the fastest front wheel drive car to go around the infamous Nürburgring. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to find out if it really is all that great. But also at the same time, well, this is Malaysia where the land of people normally buy one car to fit all sorts of purposes. So we want to know if it's great when you've got pedal to the metal and when you've got groceries and babies in the car as well. Check it out. Okay, camera's all set up and we're good to go. Now let's do the slow driving bit first. Now, let's address one of the first uh, and most common points of discussion when we talk about a sports car. Anybody who buys a sports car or has ever been in one uh, would really come to this conclusion first and foremost. They're brilliant when you're supposed to go fast in them, but when you go slow, they're absolutely rubbish to drive. Uh, your views are impeded and it's generally speaking not uh, a very pleasant driving sensation when you're not uh, racing for the red lines. Now for this particular car, okay, well I know you can argue whether it's a sports car or is it just merely a hot hatch, but to me the fact that it's got very sleek lines on with its two doors uh, puts it in a very unique niche of hot hatch meets hot coupe meets sports car. But the differentiation is this. This car is really easy to drive. I mean, uh, consider this. If you don't have the sports mode on and you're on the normal mode, it's really, really quiet inside. Okay, what you're hearing right now is basically the roar coming from the tires. Uh, and we are on, uh, you know, one of those uh, surfaces with uh, tiles laid out. When Renault Sport was developing this car, well, yes, it came from the Megane family car uh, but they did not skimp on the qualities that makes a car drivable on a daily basis so for that we give them top notch uh, kudos and um, let's look at the appointments in the inside of the car uh, everything is laid out in a very nice place uh, the steering has very few buttons it's because the audio controls happen to be right here at the back of the steering wheel uh, and apart from that Everything looks uh, very normal, very, uh, very everyday until you hit that sports button and you get all 265 horses working for you. Okay, so uh, let's continue with a review and see if we can figure out what this car can do when you put metal to the pedal. Well, this car, surprisingly, is absolutely easy to live with on a daily basis okay i don't have the sports mode on right now it's really quiet it really really is uh, the steering weight is perfect um, the dimensions of the car is not too extreme that you can't see out of it and stuff like that well I, having said that i'll have to say that the rear view uh, uh, window does offer very little um, idea of what's happening behind me i've got about that much space uh, but apart from that it's absolutely simple to drive. Uh, you can drive it in a city, you can drive it in a traffic jam, and it's not too tiring. Uh, the suspension setup on normal mode is not too stiff. Uh, it's very, very comfortable. Uh, this car only comes with a six-speed manual, which we will talk more about later. Uh, but right now, what I can say is, you know, if you were stuck in a jam, the last thing you want to do is to be driving a manual car because, oh gosh, it can be really, really tiring to be working the clutch and then working the gear lever. Um, surprisingly, in this car, it's, it's not a problem at all. The gearing is very light uh, and it's not difficult to drive this car, to live with it on a daily basis. All right. So uh, we want to find out now what we can do uh, when we put pedal to the metal. So let's go and take this car out for a fast, you know, oof driving.
Hello, my guys. Been driving the car so hard. It's so much fun that, yeah, um, the fuel light came on and we kind of have to stop by for petrol for a bit. But okay, whilst we're here, let's just talk a little bit about the design of the car. I mean, you cannot get a car that's much more muscular looking than this. Look at this, the haunches, the, the rumps, it all just exudes power, it exudes muscle. And this actually, don't forget, came from a regular family hatch, which is a Renault Megane. So the RS265, well, it's got the blacked out rims and uh, the inserts up front, so it just lends that extra garangness to it. Now, on the inside, like we have already discussed, it's a very comfortable place to be in. Now, the difference is that the seats uh, for, for the RS265, uh, they come with Recaros, and the Recaros hug you really, really well when you take the corners. You know, earlier when I took that corner, well, you know, I felt that I was not going to go anywhere because the seat held me in place perfectly. Uh, and the general feel of the car, when you look at it from the outside, it just tells you one thing, go faster. I better go faster to get petrol. Well, 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 here we are. Let me just put it this way, like, you know, a couple of weeks ago, we brought to you a massive shootout between the RS 250 versus some other great cars out in the market right now. And whilst I thought the car was brilliant, what I thought about it was that it could do so much more despite being brilliant already. Now the 265 is the car that is giving you that extra bit more, that extra bit of horsepower that really gives you the oomph that you're looking for. And the other feature that we've had on the Renault Sport products uh, is the track day. So clearly this car is aimed for fun. Now, it, you, it will be hard for you to find any other car that could give you so much more uh, for such a good value of money. And speaking about value for money, now that I think is the best bit about this car. Because at 240,888 ringgit on the road with insurance, I promise you, you will be hard pressed to find any other car out there that would give you so much comfort, so much drivability, uh, so much usability and well, intrinsically performance for such great value for money. Now, I would put my limb out to say that in my opinion, this is probably the best car I have driven in all the seasons of in-gear. Now, you have to go and check it out. I am going to go and continue having fun with the baby yellow here.